Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert in Dynamics CRM. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you how can we debug plugins in Dynamics CRM 2016. So I'm going to give you a walkthrough that how to debug plugins. So in this case, I'm going to use the existing plugin which we have Bill in our previous video as well to let me show you the plugin first of all so that's the plugin which I have been built in previous video as well and this plugin will be going to add a new task whenever we create a new account so in dynamic CRM every time we create a new account it associate a task or it add a task along with that record to send an email to the customer and the date of follow, schedule start, schedule end and category. So I just wanted to figure it out that if any error occurs or whether all the steps are executing properly or not. So I just wanted to find out, I just wanted to figure it out that uh, can we, if I debug this plugin, how the process flows on, how the process goes on. As you know that we would be using the plugin registration tool to register this plugin. I have already registered this plugin as you can see here the class library for this plugin has already been registered with the current solution. We can go and check here as well. So in settings, customization and in customization we can go and check whether this plugin has been associated with the current application or not and click on customize the system and plugin assemblies and you can see class library 4 so this plugin has successfully been associated with the current solution so i close it so so we will be going to use the we will be going to use plugin profiler to debug our plugin so in plugin registration tool you can see i'm getting one option install profiler so I click on install profiler. It will begin the installation. This is the most easiest way to debug plugin by using plugin registration tool. There are different other ways as well, but I'm going to tell you the easiest way to do that easiest and the quickest way to debug plugins. It will take some time to install the profiler. So the profile has been installed successfully. You can see a plugin profile is coming. So I select this plugin profiler. Then I want to profile, I want to verify, means I want to test this plugin. So I select this plugin and click on. So I click, so I select this step, select this step, which I want to debug and click on start profiling. So I click on start profiling. So there will be a new option here, persist to entity. And this will store the information about the code execution that can be taken use or we can use this in debugging. So I click on and I'm going to limit the number of execution because I don't want to uh, execute more than so the maximum number of execution is one. Select this option, select these two options and click on OK. So you can have a look. It has been a new text has been added named as create of account profiled. So it will be start. So the profiling has been started on this particular step. Now I click on CRM. And because the plugin has already been associated with the current solution, so I click on accounts and I'm going to create or insert a new account into it. So I click on new account. And one more thing, once the profile has been installed successfully in CRM under solution you can see a new solution will be added named as plugin profiler 
so it means the plugin profiler has been successfully attached with the current solution and it's a managed solution so we cannot customize it we can only use it so very quickly i click on accounts and click on new to create a new account so i'm going to create a new account here and i simply i give a name as bisp solutions So I simply create a new account, BISP Solutions INC and save and close. So it will create a new account and save it. So the account has been created. Let's go and check whether it's working fine or not. So I'll just click on BISP solutions and scroll down to activities. And here a new as per the scenario, a new activity has been associated. So that's fine. Now I get back to BISP solutions here. So then I open this tool, select this step and there is an option called debug. I click on debug profile we have a profile here so i click on this drop down arrow and this is the most recent profile we have been created just now so i select this profile and select and we would be requiring the assembly so local assembly i click on this arrow and that's the local dll file the plugin dll file class library 4 click on open and you can see here the plugin has been added class library 4.class1 it is saying before starting the execution we have to attach the visual studio to the plugin registration process and the process id is 3244 so i switch to my crm oh, sorry visual studio and here first of all i click on debug and attach to process in attach to process the process name is Process ID is 3244. So I'll switch to that process 3244. It's a plugin. So we can check it from here. Plugin registration tool that is 3244 and click on attach. So attachment has been done. Now I want to add a breakpoint. So I add a breakpoint here. I select this and click on breakpoint. So I'll say insert breakpoint on this point. And also, I want to add a breakpoint at this step. So right, right click breakpoint and insert breakpoint. So I have inserted two breakpoints. So this breakpoint has not been hit right now because we have to, I'm going to debug it. And when we start debugging, the process will start. So we'll get back to plugin registration tool. The attach has the attachment all the, had already been successfully attached. So I click on start execution. And when I click on start execution, you can see here the steps has been added now it's, it's at present this is at this is on this step so it says it's in process plugin registration.exe and it's running successfully so it's a first breakpoint it has not been uh, it has not been uh, redirected to this point right now so we have to continue it so when i click on continue it again stops to the next point and when we take point on it on this particular point we can see the details we can see the context is this and we can expand it and we can look at this parent context. We can look at the details, stage and so on. Similar to that, if I click on continue and at the same time, once all the process completed successfully, you can see we'll be getting the plugin in trace logs and it's saying the profiler plugin in app domain created successful and creating the task activity and the profiler execution completed successfully so it indicates that there are no errors and all the process has been completed successfully if there is any error in the plugin this will help us to debug the plugin so we can add the breakpoints and if any issue occurs we can easily identify that what's the flow of the plugin at present and finally we can close it so that's how we can verify we can debug the plugin by using plugin profiler in an easiest and the fastest way with dotnet and plugin profiler in plugin registration tool
so that's all guys that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bsptraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on dynamic crm keep watching have a nice day goodbye